Nightmare Creatures. I'm actually I'm not sure. Is this going to be the same demo I played on the horror demo, or is it going to be the other one? I don't know. I'm hoping it's the other one, because, you know, if I have to play the same demo again, that's going to be a bit lame. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, that's Nightmare Creatures by Callisto. Yeah, the same people that made that god awful fifth element game, and yeah, this is the same one I played before. You know, I'm probably not even going to bother trying to beat this demo. Oh, wait, there's some health here. I didn't even realize that was there. <laughs> but honestly, I'm probably not even going to bother trying to beat this one, seeing as I played it, like, you know. I played it a couple of days ago, so it's like, I don't really care to play through it again. I don't know. Like, it's a, like it's a decent game, it's just... Yeah, it's just, uh... I don't really feel like playing through the whole thing again. Because this demo does take a little bit to do. It takes, like... I think it took me like 10 minutes to beat it last time. So I just kicked this guy's ass. And no one's gonna shock down here. Yes, come out. Don't knock. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is he even supposed to be like a werewolf, I guess? I mean, they you know, I mean, obviously it's a horror theme game, so what else could it be? It feels kind of weird. I mean, like, I'm recording this in October, but, I mean, I'm obviously I've uploaded this in November, so. Because, you know, I just played the Halloween demo. And I played that a couple of days before this. I'm not sure when I'm uploading this to YouTube, but it's definitely going to be, like, November. So, you don't even need to, like, defend, usually. Okay, I know I actually was defending there, and it didn't actually work for some reason. You only allowed to defend for, like, half a second or something? Because I, I remember you can only defend for, like, a certain time, and then they just stop defending for some reason, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Okay, so we do that. Pfft, and I just randomly fall over. This, these guys are annoying because they always block. There we go. Can block that, could ya? So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this until I like die, and then I'm just gonna quit. Because, like I said, I beat this recently, and okay, well that works. I was <laughs> I was trying to use my health actually, but whatever, <laughs> whatever gets me through that. So I'm gonna use one of these. Okay. Yeah, it see refills my my full health. What's the end I'm actually gonna beat this without dying? Now that I've said that I'm just gonna quit when I die. It's gonna be like, no, we're not gonna let you quit. I mean I suppose I could just quit out of the game anyway, but be kind of ungentlemanly, I suppose. Actually wasn't uh, weren't close to French. And that's why they like made the fifth element game. That's like the only reason I can think of as to why anyone would like buy that game. Is because they really like the fifth element, which I don't know. I never actually seen the film, but I've played the game and the game sucked. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. It's just it's it's terrible. Okay. Cause it's like this, except it's stiffer, it's less playable, the level design sucks, and it's just Yeah, it's like it's basically just it it really is just like an inferior version of this game. In some ways. I mean, sure, in that game you get... Actually, I was about to say in that game you get gun, but I mean, you get, you get guns in this game too. Even though you don't get to use them much, but still. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's like no reason to play that game. You know. I mean, like, maybe the film is good, but... Uh, like I said, the game just sucks. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble killing these zombies. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, the, the, the stiffness of the controls is really the biggest problem with this game. Like, if it wasn't for that, yeah, this game would probably be considerably better. Although, I suppose it's better than, like, Resident Evil's controls and... Okay, I died. So, I was just quit out of that. So... Actually, what was next? Was it, like... I was about to say Porsche Challenge, but that was on disc 4. So, it's not going to be that. I'm, I'm sure it was like a driving game at least. Felony 1179, okay. Yeah. 
And yes, now I remember, I remember this game, because I remember in this game you're supposed to be like, I'm not sure if you're supposed to be a fugitive, but I know you're supposed to be like, going around destroying stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, like grab the goods, do damage, and go up town fast. And buy ASCII, or ASC2, or whatever they're called. Climax, <laughs> that's a great name for a company right there. Okay, load in. Yes. Let's do this. So let's see what we've got here. Because I remember, like, I played this demo before, not in a video, but I just played it because I was like, you know, I was, in, I was kind of interested in the game. So we got the DRM, the MIN, and this car that I can't select. Well, obviously we can go with the Mini because it's got the British flag on it. The Union Jack. As it always will be because apparently Scotland doesn't want to leave the UK, which is nice. Uh, what is this? Locate the limousine, remove the golden wings? Well, are they like chicken wings? I don't know. So there's the limo. I'm guessing... So, presuming I gotta like ram into the limo, I think. Yeah, get to play as this... You get to play as a mini, which is nice. Actually, I've always... I've always... Vaguely wanted to get, like, a Mini Cooper. Because they look cool, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know, they always felt kind of... Just something about them just feels, like, off-putting to me. Just the way... Because I've been in a Mini Cooper before, like, when my mate drove one at one point. I don't know if he still has it. But... I don't know, maybe it's just because he... He like he kind of like drives dangerously, but it just kind of compared to the Ford car that I have, it feels kind of unsafe, you know. So let's do this. So I think yeah, because uh, like that limo they showed at the beginning, I think it's like you're supposed to crash into that. And apparently I'm over the speed limit. Great. Well, <laughs> yeah, like I care. In fact, let's ram into this. So wait, that's a fence. <laughs> well, I got money for crashing into it. So, yeah, I'm just keeping one eye on the on the map. So I don't want to drive into a dead end. Okay, oh god, no, a toll. I can't stand toll booths. Yeah, this is what I think about your toll booth. Oh, great. <laughs> that crash into him. Yeah, so I think about your toll booths. Yeah, sod you. It's the reason I don't drive in the M6 toll road, because it's like... Okay, I have to pay to drive through this road? Fuck you. That's that's my opinion. I mean, I don't drive in the M6 anyway because it's a motorway and I... Uh, I don't feel as though I really want to drive on motorways, to be honest. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I am can't say I'm that confident about my driving ability. Uh, ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I tried a vending machine. Well, at least some people are going to be able to get them Kit Kats for free. Well, the, the, the front of my car is completely demolished. I mean, it's even worse than, like, Destruction Derby where the hood of your car comes off and it starts radiating. Or glowing, or whatever. There's a bridge. Go, go on the bridge, which sucks. So, I've, apparently I've made, like... Okay, how is this car still drivable? So, I look at the front? I don't think there is. I mean, um... Oh. That was the first per- Whoa! What the hell? So, uh, I thought that was like a turbo because of the noise it made, but no, I think that's like a handbrake. What the hell's up with the sound? It's just it sounds like- It sounds like a chain-smoking clay one or something. Trying to like be goofy. So I, so I crashed to a tank truck and got like 200,000 for it. Here's a dot must- Is that the limo, I guess? Actually, you know what's funny is, I actually do want to go and listen to, um, Waste and Light right now. You know, the Foo Fighters album. And just listen to White Limo. Because I just crashed into one. Where should I go? Should I go left or right? Uh, let's go left. Because going left seems to be the best way to do things. 
Actually, I'm not sure. Does this game even take place in the UK? Because, I mean, I've, I've got, like, the Union Jack on the car. And the car actually, I'm not sure. The, I can't even tell, like, what side the road cars drive on, because they seem to drive on both sides, as far as I can tell. I mean, there the were two cars that, like, crashed into each other. Okay. So let's crash into these guys. Whoa! I don't know what the hell happened there. Also noticed like my I've only just noticed like the damage meter. It's like driver where it's like you take too much damage and you just lose, I guess. Can you even crash into lights? I don't think you can, because I try to crash into them and it just like I like bounce off the fence. Yeah. Apparently you can't run over anyone just like a driver. It's a bit disappointing. Whoa! That's not gonna help. No, stop bouncing. Okay, apparently this car's become completely undrivable because I can't drive it, like, at all. Uh, oh no, are you? <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do here? Ooh. Okay, and I ran out of time, but... Okay, apparently I lost. Wait, is that the font from Sega Rally? Looks exactly like it, but whatever, we're done with that. And it's still making the sound effect for some reason, that's weird. <laughs> See, it's still playing on the power line thing. What the hell's up with this? Okay, it stopped. Okay, so we're done with that. So now we've got Rally Cross. Now, I remember this game. I don't have this game, I never owned this game. But I've I tried playing the demo of this several times. To see if it was any good, because I really like Rally games. I mean, I like Colin McRae Rally and Tommy Mackinnon Rally and... I kind of like V-Rally 2, I'm not a big fan of it. And, like, WRC Arcade, and I've got a bunch of games for, like, PS2 as well. But this game just sucks. Okay, it really does. I hate this game. At least, I hate the demo. I mean, I haven't played the full game. But, like, the controls are just awful. It's like this, because they are so floaty, it's unbelievable. It's like, you press a direction on the D-pad, and it literally takes, like, half an hour for the game to register you've pressed it. And look at this. Okay, what is up with this nonsense? Why do you have to manually tip the car over? It makes no sense. Like, it doesn't make any sense in a, like, realistic context. And then my car is just, like, going to the left for no reason. It's like my car is damaged or something, except I'm pretty sure it wasn't the car being damaged. I'm pretty sure it was just the game just being a broken piece of garbage. Like I said, I hate this game. Because it's it's unplayable. Like, the... the like, these, this car, in fact, this game has probably the worst controls I've seen in any driving game. Because I've seen cars, or I've seen games where the cars are still like crazy, like Destruction Derby. But this is just broken. Okay, it really is. Because, like I said, it takes hot, the game like half an hour for you to realize that you would press the direction on the D-pad. Or, in fact, that you've let go of the D-pad. It's like you press the direction on the D-pad, and then half an hour later, the car stops turning. It just doesn't... Like I said, it just doesn't work. It's, like, nearly unplayable, and, you know, uh, why this game is on here, I have no idea. I mean, maybe it's just because Colin McRae wasn't actually released yet, but, I mean, Colin McRae came out, I think, about a year after this game, and it's, like, a million times better. I mean, it controls, like, 50 times better. It plays 100 times better. It's actually playable. You can actually beat it. I mean, look at this. The the computer's about to over, compared to like overlap me. It's like, like how do you make a racing game this impossible? The only game I could think of that was this impossible to win was Destruction Derby Two, and and like even in that game, you didn't you didn't have to win the races in order to like, you know, win in terms of like points and whatever. But this game is just terrible. I hate it. Fuck this game. I fuck the people that made it. Yeah. Um. I wasn't even paying attention to who made it, so I don't know. And then you got these, like, screenshots. They're not even screenshots. They're just, like, concept art. But, yeah. Game sucks. And, actually, you know what's funny is I was playing Destruction Dog 2 recently. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. It's pretty decent once you figure out how to play it. But, anyway, we've done that garbage. Now it's time to Spider. Yes, an actual really good game. In fact, I'm kind of surprised they include this on here because... This is a pretty weird game. It's like a... It's a 2D platformer, where you play as a spider and you like, 
you can use like flamethrowers and boomerangs and stuff to kill things. It's a really awesome game. Okay. Although it's been a little while since I played it, so it might be a bit rusty. Like I said. Because I kind of forgot the controls. Okay. So. Yeah, this is not the first level, I can tell you this much. I don't remember how far into the game this is. Okay, give me that health. Okay, I'm going to collect that. Got the missiles, but I'm going to use the flamethrower while I've got it. Because the flamethrower, to me, is the better weapon. Now, I can't... I've kind of forgotten the plot to this game. But I know you're like this guy who gets turned into a spider. Okay, so I've got more missiles. But I think it's just like... You get like the same amount of missiles, it just like refills them or something like that. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, let's kill this guy. Okay. Like I said, this game is awesome. Like maybe it's just because I like 2D platformers, but still. Okay, need a missile, take that guy out. And then my phone is trying to like interfere with my stupid headphones. Really annoying. I, that's that's like one thing I really hate about mobile phones is just the fact that it's like, you know, you're trying to listen to something and it's like, dur, 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 dur. hopefully that's not gonna make us go into the video. Okay, so now we've got two flames. Um, let's just waste the one that I've got less of, because that just makes more sense. Actually, what's funny is I think yeah, this game is made by. I don't remember who made this game, but I know it was published by BMG, who published the original GTA. I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if that get oh whoa. Okay, I fell through the platform. That was weird. I don't know what the hell was up that. But yeah, like I said, the, like they published the original GTA, and you know as outdated as the original GTA is, it's you know it's a really cool game. So I ran out of flame, or you know at least with the, that first one. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. I think I was supposed to go down, actually. I don't get why I fell for the platform earlier. That was weird. So you see a spider down there. And, yeah, okay. Collect that, even though it doesn't actually do anything, because I've already got full health. Oh, and I died. Yo, no, I'm playing this again. So I do want to beat this one. Yo, I failed at some of these demos, but I'm beating this one. I don't care what anyone says. Wait, do you, do you seriously have to restart the whole level when you die? That's lame. I don't get why they couldn't have, like, a checkpoint when you get, like, to the next bit. So. Whoa. Close one right there. I'm not losing to this demo. Like, I'll take a loss to, like, Apes Odyssey or something, but this one, no. Let's do that. Yeah. Take that wasp. Yeah, take that wasp. Stupid fireworks. I'm going to say this right now. Whoever's saying a fireworks, I, I, I seriously want to go to them. Uh, right, I seriously want to go up to them right now and just punch them in the face. Because, yeah. It, like, it's not even, like, like I'm going to say this right now. I'm recording this on the 25th of October. Okay, and Bonfire Night isn't until the 5th of November. Okay, it's like... That's like over a week. Okay, why the hell... Actually, I want to see if I can recreate this glitch. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, I don't know what the hell's up with that. I just, like, morph through the platform. So I didn't fall through them, I just, like... Morphed through them. Oh, bugger, I just realized I haven't gone... I should have kept the missiles, actually. <laughs> oh, well. Uh... So it's not fall to my death. Oh, you can die. Yeah, I mean, wasps. I I'm going to say this right now, I can't stand wasps. They're just annoying shits. I try to sting you and they're just... I mean, I've been stung one too many times by them. And it's, uh... Yeah, it hurts. Let's just say that much. I mean, supposedly you could do worse, though. I mean, I think, like, hornets can actually hospitalize you, which is terrible. Anyway, we're done with that. So now we're going to go on to Jonah Lomu Rugby. Now, with this game, I remember I played this before in like a sports demo. And if I remember correctly, this is actually two-player. So I'm not going to be able to really play this demo. But I'm just going to show off what little I can, I guess. 
But I mean, it's just as well, because I won't be able to show this off anyway, because I know bugger all about rugby. So yeah, demo loading. I mean, who even made this game? I have no idea. I mean, I mean, I never bothered to look it up, because I don't care about rugby. I, I never cared about rugby. I mean, I played at school, and it was pretty brutal. Great. <laughs> So give me the ball. Okay, so I'll just ram past the ball. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get a try for that. Oh, come on, I ran right into the. I don't even know what it's called. I don't I don't even know what it's called in rugby, but like the rugby equivalent of the touchdown zone, I guess. Okay, so I get to play it again. I don't get like what happened there. Like maybe I was following like the wrong code of rugby. But I'm pretty sure that in rugby, once you get past that H, you get like, yeah, you get like a run. And I'll get this, like, why is it that, like, even when I'm playing against, like, I'm supposed to be playing against, like, you know, another player, I, like, <laughs> I managed to get, like, I managed to get tackled. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. So let's just, oh great, now the opponent's got the ball. Yeah, I think at the I think at this point I'm kind of buggered. So, in fact, I was honestly I was expecting to quit this game by now, because yeah. So now the yeah now the other team gets kick off and I can't do anything here because like I said it's two player, so I just quit out of that. Full game also features stuff I don't care about. Yeah, commentary by people I've never heard of, fully motion captured players. Which don't really like motion capture at all, but whatever. And all the rules of rugby, which I don't understand. I'll be honest, I actually understand American football better than I do rugby, which is pretty sad. So I think there's one game left, and then we're done, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. So now we've just got Robotron X. And I remember this game being really cool, because... If you ever played Robotron 2084, this is kind of like that, but not as good if I remember correctly. Because the original Robotron 2084 was an awesome game, you know, it's, it's an arcade classic. And there was actually a rip-off of it for, you know, Net Yorossi. There was a rip-off for, like, a Net Yorossi game, which was called Robot Ron. And that game is really awesome, because you get to use, you actually get to use analog controllers, but this game you can't. I'm not sure if it's just because it was a really early game. I think it is. But yeah, I think that says 2084 right there. Or two... No, I think it says 2004, actually. It's kind of weird. I mean, that was like, what, seven years after this game was released? But yes, Robotron X. I, I actually do want to get this game at some point. Cause I, I don't own this game, but I kind of want to get it because I'm into sort of old arcade games. And my phone is still going off because... Well, it's not going off, but it's still making that, like, dun, 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 noise, because it's a twat. I mean, I probably should just switch it off, to be honest, but, yeah. I don't know why I was making that noise, though, because, I mean, it's, it's always pretty much in the same spot, and yet, oh, now it decides to, like, do that stupid noise. Okay, level one. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember the controls for this, because it's, like... You have to use the uh, the face buttons to shoot in different directions, which... Honestly, I really think they should have waited until the DualShock controller was released before they actually made this game. Because if they did that, this game would have been way better, because you'd have the analog controls. Like, even if the controls themselves are analog... Okay, and I could have sworn that was a friendly, but apparently not. But I could have sworn, like... Okay, apparently I'm doing really badly at this. But yeah, like I was going to say, like, even if you couldn't do analog controls with this game, they could have at least... Have you used the analog controller? Because it would have made a lot more sense than just like, you know, having used the face buttons because it just doesn't feel right. But that's really like, that's like the only real, well, no, I have two complaints with this. Um, first off, obviously, the controls, like I said. The other problem I have is it's kind of hard to tell, like, what's an enemy and what isn't. Like, what you can run into and what kills you if you run into it. You know, and in the I remember in the original game, it was pretty easy to tell them apart. I know those waves kill you, I remember that. The stupid brain things shoot them at you. And they're quite annoying. So, yeah. 
yeah, you just go to rescue you. I want to see if I can at least beat this. I don't remember how many levels there are. I think there's at least three, if I remember correctly. So this, <laughs> I might fail on this. But we'll see. Oh. So let's shoot all this stuff. Oof. Okay, you're dead. We're done with that. Actually, no, there, there is one more thing that does kind of annoy me. is that you can't actually see the whole level at once. Unless I Maybe there's a way to change the camera? I want to check that, actually. There's a good chance. No, I don't think there is. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's a select button, but... You know, I mean, with a lot of games, you press the select button to quit the demo. So I'm not going to risk it. So I'm going to rescue that guy. Oh yeah, you can't kill the green ones. Bugger. And you got these... <laughs> you got these companion cubes trying to kill me. What the hell's up with this? Oh yes. Oh. Oh yes, this was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is proving to be quite tough, but I was kind of expecting that with this game. Because it's based on an old arcade game. And old arcade games are generally really bloody hard. So, yeah. Is that it? Or... Let's see. Oh, okay, there's another level. Uh, Heads Up. Wasn't there a Vectrex game called Heads Up? And then it was like a football game or something? I remember there was something like that that didn't really make any sense. Oof. It's a close one right there. Oh, 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 you bugger. I know this, I'm sure there's someone here that needs to be rescued, but I can't actually see them because there's so much stuff on the screen that I can't actually. <laughs> I, can, I don't have time to be rescuing anyone. Okay, I'm too busy trying to shoot robots. And didn't they say it was like level 14 or something? So they're just like picking levels out of a hat right here. Okay, I'm. Okay, I could have sworn I died there, but apparently not. Oh! Okay, double shot, nice. Makes a really annoying sound, though, like... like... Give me that, give me that. Yes. Spread shot, mother... Duckers. I don't know, I'm trying to sense myself, but whatever. Ooh. Okay. Well, that helped, at least. Um... Oh, oof. Also, this is a lot more fun than, like, football games on PS1. <laughs> ah, I died. I think, was that my last life? Or, no, okay. Come on, give me this. Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh, there's five more bullets, I guess. Okay, well, beat level, so. Loading some more, apparently. Oh, okay, I think I beat the demo. Also, like, I don't get, like, what is it with this? It's like I'm stuck in a teleporter or something? I have no idea. It's good thing I'm not epileptic, though, I'm just gonna say that much. So that was random. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and um, the hell's it loading now? Okay, I'll beat the thing. Robotron X. Oh, okay, so now it's just going for the credits of the game. It's kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, I'm done. Um, in fact, you can I just quit out of this? Or. Yeah, exit. I'm not going to bother looking through the credits because, you know, I'll go wrap up the video. So, yes, this was Essential PlayStation Disc 7, and overall, it's pretty good. It's I'd definitely say it's probably better than the previous one looked at. So, yeah, Tomb Raider 2 is really good. Carnivores is good. G Police is. Well, the full version is good, but the demo kind of sucks. Abe's Odyssey is really good, even though I suck at it. Lomo Creatures is alright. Fell in the 1179, that was alright, I guess. Rally Cross sucked. Spider was really good. Gloomy Rugby. Well, it's a rugby game, I really can't say if it's any good or not. But you need two players to play the demo, so this is kind of a waste, really. And Robotron X is quite good, I guess, even though it's not as good as. The original Robotron 2084. But anyway, obviously, later, people. See you.